What is going on everybody, Jess are here and today we are checking out the floor plans for the manor. Now huge spoiler warning because this may be the final product on where stuff will be and might not. So if you don't want to get spoiled, like I said uh, in the last Devourer video, uh, click off now because this might be your last chance. Today, uh, well actually I'm a day late, but yesterday Devourer got an update and I immediately looked at the files and they added the manor to the floor plans. If you didn't know, if you got support edition, you can actually look through the files of floor edition and they give you the floor plans for every single map, including the one that is upcoming. Because last time we were able to see the Solara House before it released and now we have the manor but of course I didn't cover the Solar House but if you do want to see me solo some of these maps or bring in some friends to beat these maps uh, let me know down in the comments below but I gave you guys enough time for the people that don't want to get spoiled uh, hopefully they are gone now so let's check it out okay so on screen now you should be able to see the level design for the manor. Uh, what can we see so far? Well, other than the Devourer and the Straight Back Games, logos at the bottom left and right, and the manor level design on the top left. Uh, we have three major spots that we're gonna have to cover. We have the ground floor, the second floor, and then the underground. Let's start out on the ground floor. We have the start location, and it looks to be just like the farmhouse where you spawn in and then you jump over and then you're stuck in the actual level. I'm sure someone will probably find a glitch day one where you can keep April in this uh, spot. So we're in here, we come down and then we have the front garden. To the right is the statue which I don't know what statue it is because it looks well, it's a top-down view, we can't really see it that well. But again, once beta comes out, I might play it, or whenever the full thing releases, then I might play that. But we have statue, front garden, to the left is the front garden, or more of the front garden, I guess. But I don't know, because some spots have... either like a way that you can actually go or they're blocked off from the drawing so I'm gonna assume it's like there's something here that's just blocking the uh, top-down view or like the, it's just straight up blocked off uh, you come down from this front garden well actually I should say if you go right there's a crypt entrance which we'll talk about that after but if you go straight from the start location to the front garden, you'll head straight to the manor. Inside we have the lobby. It looks like these are the set of stairs that we can go to the second floor. To the right, uh, we have the dining room, then the kitchen. Uh, and it looks to be this is the cake that I mentioned in the last video and this looks like the uh, boar platter I think that's what it was called we also have a closet here and then to the left of the lobby we have a tunnel entrance which probably leads to the underground a sitting room a study and then downstairs bathroom and then we can probably, under the stairs, go back outside and head over to the back garden. And then there's a shed. And then to the right of the back garden is the gazebo. So that's the ground floor. Uh, let's talk about the underground next. Because we have the crypt entrance and then we have a tunnel entrance which is pretty interesting so as we saw with the ground floor this is where the tunnel entrance should be in which we just have a tunnel of death 
because this is going to be really annoying if April shows up at the start and you're like already halfway through or she's coming down here and you're going towards the crypt. Uh, and then you we have the crypt entrance as well. We can go through here and we enter the crypt, which is most likely the ritual area. I'm going to assume this is where everything starts and ends. But there's not too much about the underground so far. But then again, it's super early uh, to see this and a lot of it might be changed. But hopefully we'll see more uh, in the next two weeks or so. But we have the second floor now. We have the lobby or upstairs lobby and which this is the stairs. We got the upstairs lobby, the left wing hallway. We have the painting room, the office to the right of the upstairs lobby, uh, the right wing hallway, children's bedroom, master bedroom, then upstairs bathroom, which it looks like the children's bedroom and master bedroom both connect to the bathroom, which is good. So as a quick little uh, getaway if April is chasing you, you can go through the right wing, go to children's bathroom, master, then do a little loop like that. But then again, April can like come up here and then turn around once you get back to the children's bedroom and then you're screwed. Uh, left wing hallway, there's not a whole lot. This looks like an our looping area. You just come down, uh, it looks like stairs, but then again, it could just be the door frame. Uh, you come down here and then you just loop around the table, then come back. And then the painting room is just a painting room, I guess. There's not really much to say about it. But it looks like both the right wing and left wing hallway both have doors to them. So you can probably just close uh, April out whenever you're done looping in the two zones. So that's pretty good. Yeah, this level looks pretty good for an outside indoor level. Again, it's going to be a little annoying because the ritual uh, object is floating heads. So we'll have to see when the level comes out. But hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the floor plan and what your thoughts on the level overall uh, in, this, in the description. In the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.